Hi everyone, this is Mike with a brief video about getting started in Blackboard and then uh, navigating the first couple of steps in MyOpenMath as well. I will post a second video showing you around the MyOpenMath platform, but for now I just want to get you uh, acclimated and oriented to Blackboard in case you're unfamiliar with that or would just like um, a quick tour of our course in Blackboard. So here I am in the main Blackboard page and you should have a list of your courses in the Blackboard page when you log in. This is our course, Math 210, Section 210, so I'm going to click on that. And when you click on that, you should be going to uh, a page that looks like this. This is the uh, Start Here page. And so you'll see a quick description of the, um, of the course itself. And then here is a copy of the welcome video in case you haven't seen that or would like to watch a piece of that again. I don't blame you if you don't, but my hope is you found the information on that uh, video valuable. There's a description here also of Microsoft Teams being used for our virtual office hours. I'll say a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, but this is just a note to say that Blackboard is not your primary point of contact for this course. Generally, you'll be spending your time in MyOpenMath, and to the extent that we're going to meet uh, together, uh, you'll do that within uh, Microsoft Teams. Here's some information about getting started in MyOpenMath, so you can read through that. You will need the course ID and the enrollment key. Both of these things are important for setting up your account and getting access to our course materials. Uh, but again, there is no cost associated with setting up your account or getting access. And then there's some information about netiquette, uh, which I hope you'll read through and uh, take seriously. And then some uh, information about minimum technical skills and minimum technology requirements. There's also a link here to announcements. I will send some announcements. I've already sent uh, by the time you're watching this, I will have sent a couple of announcements probably to the class using Blackboard. Generally, throughout the semester, I'm going to use my open math to communicate with you. But the first uh, couple of announcements I'll send, I'll send through Blackboard, so you'll be able to see those here. If you click on the My Instructor link, there'll be some information about me, a little picture of me in case you forget what I look like. Um, some information about when I'm holding virtual office hours for our class. Keep in mind that if those office hours are not convenient uh, and you really want to speak with me, we can set up uh, some other time to meet by appointment. Uh, I generally don't meet in the middle of the night, uh, but I am available occasionally on weekends and uh, outside of sort of typical business hours. So uh, let me know what your availability is and I think we can probably work something out. Uh, there's a little bit of information about me and then a link to email me in case uh, you want to send me a message through this platform. But again, generally, I think communicating with me via my open math is the best way to go. There's a link here also for uh, the syllabus and the suggested schedule. These uh, resources are all listed elsewhere uh, throughout the course in my open math. Uh, I think I sent a link uh, as well with my uh, first announcement, but in case you uh, lose them or, or need to uh, see them again, there are links here to both the syllabus and the suggested schedule. This suggested schedule link is a spreadsheet that is already embedded within the syllabus. So uh, in a sense that this is a repetition of documents. Uh, I also would encourage you to take advantage of the MyOpenMath calendar. And again, I'm going to show you a little bit about that in another video uh, as I give you a tour of how my open math works. There's a my open math link here in Blackboard. Uh, that link takes you to this page, which uh, creates um, or gives you a link to the login page itself. And there's also a folder here of resources, uh, instructions about registering for an account and videos that uh, give you some insight into uh, using the platform. Again, the video that I'll send you uh, or post about using my open math will be located in here. Uh, here's a, a brief thing about Microsoft Teams. So when you click on that link for office hours, it will take you to a login page for Microsoft Teams. 
So I just want to take a minute or so to show you how this works. Uh, you'll be choosing an account or typing in your uh, email address and then you'll enter in your password and when you sign in it should take you to a landing page that looks like this. And if you uh, are using Windows or have uh, sort of a Windows emulator on a Mac, for example, you can use the app itself. Uh, or if you want to just use it in the web, it will take you to this landing page where you can choose our course. And when you choose our class, uh, Math 210, Section 210, you'll see a, a list of meetings that are available. So uh, our first meeting is going to be, um, I believe it's set up for uh, August 27th. And so uh, you'll see that this, this is listed here, but you can also see it in the calendar. If you click on the calendar, and I'm gonna go to, I'm recording this the week before classes begin. If you go on our calendar, uh, you should see uh, the office hours on the 27th. And if you click on that, then you'll be able to join the meeting from here, okay? So uh, you can see there's the join the meeting and, and uh, we'll have an opportunity to meet uh, in the office hours that way. Okay, so uh, we've gone through most of the things in the menu here. You can, uh, there's a link here that says check your grades. I'm not going to be posting grades on a regular basis in my open math. Again, all of your grades will be recorded in, I'm sorry, your grades will not be recorded in Blackboard until the end of the semester. All of your uh, updated grades will show up in My Open Math. So my advice is to use My Open Math to check your grades throughout the semester. What I will do at the end of the semester though is I will post your recorded official letter grade in Blackboard and this will be the place where you can check that. Um, there's a list of course tools here. Uh, again, I don't think you'll need these too often. Um, and then some other resources that the college provides, links to libraries, uh, to support services, and some technology links here. So that's a brief tour of what you'll see in Blackboard. And I'm going to post another video shortly that shows you how to get started in My Open Math. And just to get uh, going in that video, if you click that link, it will take you to the uh, login page for My Open Math, and that's where I'm going to start the next video.